Hello, hello, hello! My name is Amanda Castillo, if you do not know me, and today I'm going to be filming a Whole Foods taste test for you guys. So if you guys can see, I have all this food laid out on my vanity because to me, food is beauty. It's everything. That is why these are one of my favorite kinds of videos to film. I can basically spend all the money I want in a grocery store and I can't feel bad because it's for my video. And I can eat all these calories and fat because it's for the video. <laughs> so I don't want to talk a lot in this intro because we are all here for the food and I really want to start eating because I haven't had food today. So let's go. I'm going to try to not talk a lot of crap about a lot of these brands because the fact that these vegan brands are making vegan food for us, I can't complain. So the first item I'm trying are these Gardein teriyaki chicken strips and it looks like this. That sounded really nasty. I'm not gonna include that. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, you guys. Oh, Nelly. I thought about stir frying this with vegetables, and that would be so bomb. And they could have like white rice or like brown rice on the side. Highly, highly recommend. I would totally buy this again. Next item I'm trying is Italian because I wanted to do like a lot of different. Um, dishes. Organic vegan lasagna. Put it in a toaster oven and it took 40 minutes and now it's like not even hot anymore so <laughs> worth it. So it looks like this. It's pretty flat. The fake cheese in there. I see some fake meat. Okay obviously I don't know how to eat. I don't know if I like it. It tastes like someone got cauliflower and then added salt to it and then blended it up and then added that for the filling. But honey, I don't want cauliflower. I want cheese. Wear it at. The pasta itself is a really good texture. I think the tomato sauce needs a bit more salt. It's like kind of flavorless. Yeah, this like cheese, like the fake cheese that they added to this is just like not great. It reminds me of the texture of baby food. The fact that I'm still eating it though. Mmm. I forgot to rate foods. So the teriyaki chicken strips, I would give mm, probably like an eight and a half out of 10. This I'm probably giving a five because I mean, it's like not the best, but it's like also not that bad. Like I'd still eat it. Maybe five and a half. I'm already a third done with it. So I mean, I obviously didn't hate it that much. Next I am trying is this Daya Deliciously Dairy Free Supreme with meatless sausage and vegetables gluten free pizza. First of all, their cheeses aren't the best ones on the market. So I feel like when someone goes vegan and they try vegan cheeses, they always go towards this brand because it's like the leading one. There's definitely a lot of great vegan cheeses out there. So the fact that they have like a vegan like cheese pizza, I'm a little iffy about it, but I'm like really excited to try it. This only cooked in like the oven for 10 minutes so it was not that long when I was a kid my favorite pizza was combination pizza and Hawaiian pizza because I felt like pepperoni pizza was like a little boring I mean it was so good I mean like who doesn't like pepperoni pizza unless like you don't eat meat or don't like pepperoni but my favorite was like combination pizza and I loved having like a ton of vegetables on it and like just all the fixins the crust is like a cracker you know those like pizza kits you'd get as a kid it looks like one of those crusts I had to cut this myself and it was not easy let me tell you oh oh yeah Yes. So sniff check, it definitely smells like Daya cheese, I'm not surprised, or Daya, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Not bad, okay, I'm kind of pleasantly surprised, it just doesn't look that great. This crust, I'm not kidding you, like it has literally little holes in it like a pizza kit. Yeah, like this is a sausage, I'm gonna try that. Oh, mmm, I didn't like that. Oh! It tastes like dog food. So I don't hate this pizza that much. I should chew and talk at different times. So the more I eat it, the more I like the pizza. I would probably give this maybe a six and a half out of 10. The meat on it is not great. If I was having a girl's night and I just didn't care about what I did to my body, it's fine. Have a, like a glass of red wine and it's like, it's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and try this drink. So this is the Califia salted caramel cold brew coffee with almond milk. I never get fancy drinks like this because I usually ugh, Because I usually drink my coffee black you only live once might as well go above and beyond and try something new Mmm Um Um 
No, yeah, I like this. <laughs> I think I'm just like really used to having like a strong coffee flavor every time I drink it, but like this is more mild. You definitely taste the caramel. I probably would give this like an eight and a half out of 10. And it's made with 25% less sugar. That's great. Oh, it still has 12 grams. Oh, <laughs> oh well. This is an expensive cheese, by the way. This is a tree line tree nut cheese. I got the cracked pepper flavor and it has the V for vegan on the front. It looks like a legit cheese, which I'm really excited about because I haven't had like a really really good vegan cheese since going vegan and I've been vegan for like three years smelling it it doesn't um smell cheesy to me I brought on my huge bag of pretzel crisps um that I got at Costco and like this bag is bigger than my head but who doesn't love pretzels I also got these rosemary sea salt almond flour crackers I got these at Whole Foods so I'm gonna try this cheese again when I open these crackers it's harder than I thought it was gonna be Oh my god. This is so good. What? What? Um, mm, I'm shook. I'm so shook. It's tangy and salty like you would expect cheese to be. I'm gonna try it on its own because I feel like that was a little biased with like a salty pretzel. Mm hmm okay. Oh my god. That is so good. That's money. Highly, highly recommend this cheese. I'm excited to try these. Mm. I just like love rosemary. It just so good bomb so good 10 out of 10 okay I'm gonna try this with the cheese oh my god mm -hmm. wow oh wow this is why you came for this video you have to buy this stuff it's so good not exaggerating okay I exaggerate a lot but this is really good moving on to another dip even though that was very exciting this is the Thai coconut curry hummus like, I've never tried a Thai flavored hummus so I was really excited to get this one it straight up smells like curry like if someone blindfolded me and they were like Amanda smell this first of all that'd be really creepy but if they stuffed this in my face, I would smell Thai food. Bottoms up. Mmm. Interesting flavor. I don't know if that's because, like, it's Thai food and rosemary, and maybe they're just, like, fighting, and it's like, no, don't make this happen. I'm going to try this again with a pretzel. It's not, like, a super, super creamy, like a sabra hummus. It's, like, more thick. Like, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> ah! Okay. Flavor itself is really unique, and I really like that. I just feel like it tastes too much like Thai food for me. It kind of feels like you try to blend up the garbanzo beans, like when you're making the hummus, but you didn't blend them 100%. I'm like more of like a spicy hummus kind of girl, or like roasted garlic. All my Trader Joe's fans out there, maybe like a 7 out of 10. It's not bad. I just like not a huge fan of it myself. But good try. You did good, honey. Okay, so first of all, the name just like intrigued me that's why i got this so this is the heat bitchin sauce description of it on the front is super funny there's just a small boy in the front and he's like mmm bitchin just water almonds grapeseed oil blah 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 liquid aminos habanero tabasco and ghost pepper oh shoot i'm not gonna back out i like spicy food okay <sighs> so it smells good it's like tangy that's spicy but oh my god that is so good mm. wow hop on this by far one of the best vegan dips i've ever had i did see they also have an original bitchin sauce it says www.bitchinsauce.com if you guys are interested in it it's very tangy i feel like if it was in a solid form it like low-key tastes like cheese oh my god wow mm. i'm giving this a 10 out of 10 like i'm very highly impressed by this it's bitchin. So this is mush. It's overnight oats and a spoon's included. That's cool. That's cool. So I'm just gonna pop that right off. Pop, lock, and drop it. This is the apple crisp flavor. Oh, it smells like apple pie. Mm, mm, mm. Definitely be very filling. This entire... Oh my god, I just spilled liquid all over myself. So this entire container has 280 calories, which is not much at all. So like this can easily be a snack breakfast mmm mm. mm. oh I take that mmm back a little bit of a tang mmm this isn't bad um 
this is actually really funny the texture is too mushy for me <laughs> it's still good though I feel like if I was like running late and I like needed a fast breakfast I could totally just grab this and a banana and I'm good to go so yeah definitely not bad I would give this maybe like a 7 out of 10 let me just say you could also make your own overnight oats super easy I used to make them myself and I would put them in like these cute little mason jars and I would take them to class everyone thought I was so trendy just kidding it was just me next item I am trying is this vanilla bean chia pod chia seeds with coconut milk vanilla bean paste and cinnamon this is also super jiggly oh 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 mm. ah I always forget how slimy chia seeds taste and how they feel in my mouth oh Oh. Yeah, uh, it's probably a no for me. Two or three out of ten. Like, this is really not my favorite. For dessert, I got this Go Raw Super Raw Chocolate. Just two ingredients. Raw cacao and raw agave nectar. Oh, whoa! I was not expecting this. So it comes, like, in these little squares. If you ever have a sweet tooth, this is, like, so convenient. So one piece is, like, 32 calories. Only a gram of fat. Feels soft, like fudge almost. Oh, and it smells like really dark chocolate, which is something... I love oh oh mmm oh my god okay I need to do a close-up for this this is so soft mmm it's so good also my bronzer looks really dark ew you guys seen this uh, uh huh wow wow and this is only 32 calories mmm the perfect healthy dessert mmm yeah, I'd give that a 10 out of 10. Cool, we're done. Alright you guys, and that was my Whole Foods taste test. So exciting. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more taste tests, let me know what I should taste test down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!